Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is me, Guafa! This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book, Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to develop a closer relationship with Jesus by studying His words and learning about Him daily. So in less than 10 minutes of watching these videos, your lives will be enriched and your connection with Jesus will be stronger than ever before. Your religious affiliations do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop that closer relationship with Jesus, well, these videos were made especially for you. So let's get on with our reading for today. But before we do so, May I invite you to please close your eyes and bow your heads as we seek the Lord in prayer. Shall we pray? Our loving and mighty Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, we entrust to you our lives, dear Lord, because on our own, we cannot do anything apart from you. Father, may you bless us, may you guide us, may you protect us, and may you transform us. Through our daily devotional reading for today, let your Holy Spirit talk to us. Let your Holy Spirit touch our lives. And let your Holy Spirit permit us that we will be able to be sweet-smelling sweet of your graces. We will be sweet-smelling of your kingdom. That we will be able to be a blessing to the people around us. Open our hearts and our minds, dear Lord that we will be receptive of the message that we will be reading for today and that we will be able to reflect the life that you want us to have, that you long your children to have. Father, we cannot do anything apart from you, but with you, Lord, all things are possible. We invite you to always be our partner, to always be our husband, to always be our lover god may you continue to bless our family who are not with us who are far from us who are also struggling to meet to meet to make their ends meet father may you continually be the beacon that we need in this world because it is such a tiring world dear lord but with you father we know that we are being carried when the world becomes tumultuous. God, may you send your Holy Spirit to work in our church leaders and workers, in our school builders, in our nation leaders and world leaders, that they'll be able to travel the path of righteousness towards you so that they can lead more people unto your feet. Guide each one of us, Lord. This we ask in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. No power can separate from Christ. November 10 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Romans chapter 8 verse 35 How precious in time of need is the assurance of union with Jesus. We can say, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? No. For this makes us feel that Christ alone is our refuge, and we flee to Him for shelter. Or distress? No. For He is our consolation. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and of God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4 Our persecution? No. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 10 Or famine? No. For we have God's promise, in famine he shall redeem thee from death. Job chapter 5 
verse 20. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Psalm chapter 37, verse 19. In fleeing unto Jesus, we shall be fully satisfied. Or nakedness? Hear the voice of Jesus saying, Buy of me gold, tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Revelations chapter 3 verse 5 Or peril? No. Paul knew by experience what it was to be in peril. In perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26 And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 Or sword? The sword cannot kill the soul, for the life is hid with Christ in God. Well, we may ask with Paul, who shall separate us from the love of God? And answer, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. The end for today's reading. What an assurance that is, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Nothing, nothing, as in nothing, can take away the love that God has given us. Nothing can separate us from His love, from Jesus. Nothing in this world can do that. So why are we so worried? Why are we so stressed? Well, I am off then asking that question for me with all the requirements that we had to pass in this life with all the deadlines with all the troubles sometimes it's overtaxing it's tiring but then again in retrospect i can say that i am still guided that i am still in his fold because nothing can separate his love from me this week's experience has proven us that, has proven me that. Also, that what is meant for me will be meant for me. That God's timing is always the best timing in all times. Because this week we have processed the requirements for the promotion from Teacher 1 to Teacher 2, but my other colleagues from Teacher 1 to Teacher 3, and one of my colleagues, she was promoted from Teacher 1 to Master Teacher 1. What a great honor. So sometimes it's really a stressful event to process the requirements, especially when you're just given a short span of time to finish them. But then again, Lord, we thank you so much that we were able to submit our requirements on time and that we were able to uh, be able to surpass that struggle in life. But I broke down. Yes, I broke down. I cried. Because I thought my other requirement was wrong that I have to go to Iloilo again after three days of going there back and forth. So I thought, oh my goodness Lord, I'm so tired already, I cannot sleep properly. So that's just a sign again that I'm still a work in progress. But then again, this message for today's reading reminded me that nothing can separate your love from me. That you have my best interest at heart. That even if I break down, I will still rise up and I will still continue on doing your work, O Lord. So, that's it for this reading. Thank you for watching with us. Thank you for leaving a like, for leaving a comment and sharing your thoughts.
for also sharing this to people whom you think will be blessed by the message of the Lord and for subscribing in our channel. May God bless you. He loves you. Adieu.